Hi everyone. Um, I wanted to do a open box in front of you guys. This is really exciting for me. I've been waiting a while to do this. So we went to... Actually my fiance wanted me to use this to open the box. It's kind of like a dramatic effect. The thing is I hate knives. So... Ah. Okay, here we go. Yeah, be careful not to rip anything inside. I'm really awkward with this cutter. Okay, I'm gonna just really get into it now. Okay, here you go. A lot of these uh, shipping items. This box is rather tightly put in there. Okay, I'm gonna have to dump it. Okay, so here it is. Put that away, the knife away. Oh, but I guess I would have to use it again. Okay, so here we go. So we got more of these. And I'm hoping these are the ones that biodegrade. So here we go, another box. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Okay, this is really exciting. So, hmm. I'm not really impressed with this. Just the cardboard. Okay. And this is the type of watch that I bought. If you can see it. And then here is the box. Looks like heavy cardboard with the Rolex emblem. Okay. Alrighty, this is the color I was waiting for. The green. The emerald green. Alright, let's see. Oh, so it basically opens up like this. And then you take it out. Okay. Wow. Is this carved wood? I can't tell. Put that away. So here's the watch. I probably tried on like three watches, but the ones that I did try on, they were the Jubilee bands. So I like it when, here, let me just take this out. Wow, it's so shiny. You know what? I don't think I want to take this thing off, this protector. <laughs> so anyways, um, I tried on three of these. Uh, they're, all of them have the Jubilee bracelet because I think for someone who's petite like me, the Jubilee bracelet fits better. Also, the other thing that I like about this is very feminine, this bracelet, compared to the other ones. Um, and I also like this dual tone. So I'm going to do a more up close and more detailed review on this. So um, this is a different setup. I wanted to give you a better visual uh, of the watch. Um, I'll try not to be, uh, you know, moving from different topic to topic, but just to be honest with you guys, I'm no expert when it comes to Rolexes. This is my first Rolex watch. Um, I kind of learn as I go from talking to the sales reps and even talking to my fiance. He loves doing research and me, I just rather hear it from another person's mouth. So this is the Rolex Datejust 31 millimeters. Um, they do make the females in size 28, and the size 28 millimeter looks more of like a jewelry piece. I mean, this one does as well. It's not as big as some of the other watches, but um, it's kind of in between the jewelry size watch versus a bam in your face, you know, big face, I mean, big watch face. So um, that's the reason why I chose this. And believe me, I tried both sizes, the 28 and then the 36, I believe. And 36 to me, for being a petite person, it was a little bit too big for me. And I After 2000s, they changed the Jubilee bracelet. They changed the, um, the steel, the makeup. And then on top of that, instead of having hollow gold links, they are not solid. So the newer bracelets are stronger, they're a lot heavier, and um, they're better quality than the older models. Another thing, let's talk about the face. 
Um, this is called the champagne color. Um, I tried the one that was oyster face, which is white, like a shimmering, iridescent type of white face. And uh, that one was pretty too. There was a really good contrast between the oyster uh, white face with the uh, gold fluted, uh, I mean, with the gold fluted um, face and then the uh, dual tone Jubilee bracelet. But it had more of a casual look to it. And I wanted something that I can kind of wear um, as I get older. Let's talk about the price and why we decided to have this shipped. If you purchase uh, this Rolex at a hotel, um, and the hotel doesn't exist in California, which is where I live, um, you don't have to pay sales tax. Um, for example, if you were to buy it at a Rolex store, just a Rolex, a freestanding, um, like at a hotel that exists in California, then you do have to pay the sales tax. On this watch, I saved around roughly $1,000 on not paying taxes, and I paid $169 to have this shipped. So I'm literally saving like $800 on this watch by not paying taxes. So if you don't mind waiting to wear this, you know, it's really worth it to have it shipped. But the thing that I like about these is they hold their value. So at one point, uh, we looked at several uh, pre-loved watches. Um, they're pretty much everywhere. You can get them at uh, different jewelry stores all around Vegas. Um, they have all different sizes. But just keep in mind that the older models don't have the solid gold on the bands. They're hollow. So I'm not going to feel as hefty. And then the steel is a different type of steel. Um, this is supposed to be the stronger version of it. Um, so there's that. And on top of that, if you were to buy this pre-loved and it's like 10 or even 15 years old model, you're going to still have to pay upwards of nine to, yeah, upwards of eight to 9,000, depending on the quality of this. So you're saving around three to five thousand dollars or even maybe more but just keep in mind that you may not be getting the box along with this or the certificate and not saying that the watches that they sell there are not authentic but you know you don't want to take that chance and pay all that money so let me go ahead and try this on enough talking here we go so the jubilee bracelet clasps like this Push it down, and then that crown sits um, flat with the uh, bracelet. So here it is. I really like this color combination with the champagne face and the dual tone bracelet. So anyways, sorry about my hands. I don't really do anything. I don't go get my hands nails done or anything of that sort um, it kind of scares me when people get that done all the time and it kind of strips away their natural nails so here we go this is my watch um, for now it'll just be one watch but who knows maybe in the future I'll get something more masculine and more simple um, but we'll see